Lord, everybody and everybody, praise the Lord. Good morning. Uh, again, Pastor Martino, we just live here enjoying ourselves. Thankful for another uh, Sabbath Sunday, ready to rock and roll in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this time together. We pray now that you would fill these vessels with power and anointing. Lord God, we pray now that the words of our mouths and meditation of our hearts will be found acceptable in your sight. You're a wonderful God and Father. Draw today, bless today, heal today. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ, we pray. Amen. God morning. Oh my God. In this Good Hidden morning. Figure segment, Key Touch, we've got somebody that is absolutely phenomenal. Someone that many may not have heard of, but need to hear about. Janice Bryant Howroyd. That is, this woman of God is someone special. Come on, girl. We're talking about an entrepreneur, educator, ambassador, businesswoman, author, mentor. I mean, Oprah Winfrey may be widely known as the first African-American female billionaire. Uh -huh. One woman made history in her own right as the first black woman with a $1 billion company. Isn't that amazing? Because once again, this woman that we're talking about this morning, Janice Bryant Howroyd, listen, she is a billionaire. She owns a billionaire company born in 1952. And of all places, Tarboro, North Carolina, shouting out to everybody from Tarboro. We say that to say, understand North Carolina. We're talking about North Carolina here. So, you know, some of the issues and all the challenges that existed during that season. But listen to what's being said. This woman was awesome. Go ahead, daughter. I know wow. that was a mouthful, Pastor. Yes, you, you know it was. But founder, CEO of one of the largest privately held woman-owned workforce. That's incredible. And again, we're just loving what we're hearing because we got, I can't wait till you share with everybody what her motto is because she is incredible. God is using her. Never compromise who you are personally to become would you please read that again? Because so many believe that the only way that you can be great in corporate America is if you compromise who you are. The devil is a lie. Read that again, please. Never compromise who you are personally to become who you wish to be professionally. Oh, so you mean to tell me I don't have to sell out myself in order to get that position? I don't have to sleep with the, the owner, sleep with my boss in order to get that promotion? I don't have to do any of those things? I don't have to be a, a non-Christian? I don't have. Do I have to go to happy hour? Do I have to hang? No, you do not have to compromise yourself personally to become who you want to be professionally. Boy, if that isn't a word, that's a phenomenal word right there, my friend. <laughs> it's just awesome. And I mean, her story alone is just amazing. I mean, as a teen, she was one of the first African-American students to desegregate her town's previously segregated high school. Wow. So when she enrolled in an integrated school in the Deep South, she said her teachers spoke about how blacks were well-suited for slavery. And she actually recounts biting uh, the inside of her jaw so much so she wouldn't shed a tear. So she wouldn't feel like she was accepting defeat. I mean, imagine hearing that every day. Well, and again, need everyone to hear. Listen, listen to the statement again. She had she enrolled in the integrated school in the Deep South and uh, mm -hmm. where one of her teachers said spoke out about how blacks were well suited for slavery. Now, now, you know what? It, that that statement, here's what it means. It means that you are being conditioned. We were being conditioned for it. So when one becomes well suited for something, you are conditioned for it. The devil is alive. She bit the inside of her mouth to let everybody know, guess what? You might be saying that, but God has a different plan for my life. Glory be to God. Come on, girl. So this is something. In 1976, she moved out to L.A., and worked as a temporary secretary for her brother-in-law, Tom Noonan, uh -huh. from Billboard magazine. So while she was there, Tom Noonan introduced uh, her to business executives, celebrities, uh, travel, diversity in the work, workplace, and decision-making she had recently been exposed to. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh -huh. so, this, so this was her opportunity to move forward with her plan. She, she had this plan, and she focused on employment services and launched her own company, the Act One Group, 
in a small office in Beverly Hills, mm -hmm. California. Wow. Her brother-in-law ended up being her first client. And so, see, this yeah. you know what we love about this key touches because now you're you're in our world. Our world uh when we were blessed in 1990 to start uh Creative Technical Solutions. It was an IT uh consulting business that provided personnel. That's what we were blessed to do. And uh and we were able to do so for over 20 years. And we know how important a role this is. In other words, we need someone that is listening to hear what's being said. She found her marketing niche. God morning, daughter. She found her marketing niche. Just like Key Touch found her marketing niche, found the ministry niche. That's what must happen. In order to be successful in anything, you must either find your marketing niche or your ministry niche in order to be successful. That's what she was able to do. And guess what, Key Touch? That's what God bless you to do. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So she had a little more than a thousand dollars to start this business. I mean, and it, it provides employment, workforce management, procurement solutions to Fortune 500 organizations, local wow. and mid-market companies, and government agencies. And the amazing part, Pastor, she is operating in 19 countries, including Canada, the Netherlands, India, Mexico, Mexico Brazil, Colombia, United Kingdom, Germany, France. I mean, I've said a lot already. Yes, ma'am. And you know, you know what you have to appreciate about it, though, is that um, she had some incredible truths that literally are life changing. We're talking about, again, on this morning, Miss uh, Janice uh, Bryant, um, again, Howroyd, and just a phenomenal, phenomenal instrument and a phenomenal example of an individual that chose not to allow uh, segregation, uh, chose not to allow racism, sexism, any of these things to stop her from achieving the goal and the purpose that God had planned for her life. See, that's where you have to be. That's where I have to be. Because just with $5,000, we'll never forget, uh, back in 90, we were able to launch the business. And from that point on, the Lord graced us, that the Lord blessed us and kept us moving. We started at that season and it was amazing to us how the Lord blessed us through a loan from an aunt who happened to be an evangelist who heard and saw the vision that God had given us and afforded us the opportunity to move forward. Come on here with some closing thoughts on her real quick, if you don't mind. Well, one thing I really like that she said, um, she shares her seven ingredients in creating success. Yes, ma'am. Competitive edge, dedication, dynamic foresight, resilience, focus, and clarity, employee appreciation, and her biggest asset, Hallelujah. And that right there is it in and of itself. Hope that everyone is listening. You get a chance. You need to make sure that your children are following examples of individuals that are in the hall of faith in the earth. Uh, examples today of individuals that fought through. I mean, you're talking about Tarboro, North Carolina. From there, a move to Los Angeles, California, had a dream, had a vision, and let nothing and no one stop them. And you know what, Key Touch, again, that's you, daughter. That's why we want to thank God for the privilege of being able to serve you and now sharing with everybody, if you don't mind, what God has done for you. I don't mind. I don't mind. Go ahead, dear. It's a beautiful day. From the inspiration of doing this segment on this show, I'm having my own show on our sister station, 1450 WOL. Glory. Here's today at 10 o'clock. Hallelujah. And online is WOLDC.com. And what's the name of your um, uh, your broadcast? The name of the show is The Outlet, your tech and entertainment connect. We have to connect with our youth, connect with the community, and let them know what's going on in technology and in entertainment in the D.C. area. Well, you know what? And again, just real quick, because this is just so very important. We're talking about a young lady who at one time was like, Pastor, you know what? I think I need to leave the area. I don't think that this certain things are working out the way that I would like for them in the season. And the Lord kept encouraging you, hang in it because he has a plan for your life. He has a plan for your life. And, you know, we embraced you. We loved up on you. We kept counseling you as led by the Lord. And look at what he's done for you. This is a glorious day in the kingdom of God. So we thank God for you daughter. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. I appreciate you. 
All right, dear. Well, listen, we're going to go ahead now and uh, segue our way on in. But we look forward to 10 o'clock a.m., everybody. W.O.L. 1450, 10 o'clock a.m. Again, the outlet with Key Touch. You want to make sure that you connect with her because, again, what she's going to be sharing, she's going to be dropping some knowledge right there. But see, that's what daddy will do. Daddy will open up doors of opportunity so that individuals can hear for themselves. When you get behind someone, you see the vision, you share the vision prophetically in their lives. These are the things that one can do. And so on this morning, that's just a great way to enter into our teaching on this morning. Because again, remember we kept sharing with you why First Church why would you want to uh, connect with and partner with this ministry? Well, you're hearing it for yourself because once again, what we're blessed to be able to do is see the vision that God has for your life. And once again, tap into the potential, the untapped potential, the gifting that is on your life and then push you into your purpose and into your destiny. That's what we believe in doing. You should see and hear what's happening to many of our millennials that once again are now jumping out there by faith because guess what? Their faith has been built up. How? Through the teaching of God's word. We share with you all that in this ministry, you want to make sure you connect with us. Download our First Church app at First Church. Watch, or, or you can connect with us on Facebook and Periscope and Twitter and Instagram at First Church Wash. Why? Because once again, we believe in what the Word of God says. When you, we know the prophetic side of what God is doing in individuals' lives. When you're part of a ministry that is prophetically rooted and grounded in the Word of God and by the Spirit of God, then you will begin to experience what many of our members are doing. The launching of new businesses, the launching of new business opportunities. Listen, solidifying your position on your job. Promotions are taking place left and right. Financial breakthroughs are taking place. Why? Because the prophetic word is active and God is moving. Thank you so very much. I say yes to First Church as well. That's what I love about this ministry. Even as we heard on the previous broadcast, individuals that don't want to attend church, we understand why you don't want to because you're sick and tired of the drama. We want you to understand how very important it is for you to be in the assembly of the saints because we are commanded in Hebrews 10, 25, do not forsake the assembling of yourselves together. We are commanded not to do so. So if that is the case, then I must find a location in which I can grow, a location in which the prophetic of God is taking place. Here's what we share with you all about the ministry, about the ministry at First Church, because it is so very important for us to understand that we have prophetic visions there. That is, God is showing us through his word and by his spirit what he has planned and purpose for our lives. So why First Church? Because of the ability to interpret the prophetic, the prophetic visions that are so very important. Ezekiel 11, 24, 25 is what we reference. And then we share that where there is prophetic vision, there must also be something known as prophetic teaching. Teaching. That is God by his spirit outlining through the word the necessary steps that will lead to vision fulfillment. And we share with you how many times believers, unfortunately, they go out and they get a prophetic word. But guess what? They're not now prophetically taught. They put the onus on God. God is going to do. But whenever God is going to do something, understand he outlines it in scripture by his spirit. Hello, someone. Please don't miss that. See, again, you have a prophetic word. You went to the prophetic conference. You got a prophetic But What are your next steps? Well, I don't know. God is going to do. Well, see, that's the problem. Because, see, wherever there is prophetic vision, there must also be prophetic teaching. Can we get a can we get a witness out there, somebody? Because once again, that is how important it is. God, in other words, binds you to the prophetic vision that he has spoken into your life by now. Listen, teaching you what that means. And, by, and, and again, through his spirit and by his word, outlining in his word, the Holy Spirit then shows you and I the necessary steps that will lead to vision fulfillment. That was Isaiah 28 verses 9 and 10. 
Well, on this morning, we want to continue teaching about this because, see, this is where prophetic vision. The third thing I love about First Church and her ministries, apart from the leadership, apart from the membership, is something known as prophetic preaching. We have some of the most anointed preachers in the world. And here's the thing about it. In what we are led to do and led to teach the body of Christ, especially at First Church, we don't look to a man. We don't look to a woman. We listen for, hone in on the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit is in ministry, then you know that you're in the right ministry because it can't be about a man. It cannot be about a woman. Hello, somebody. That is very, very dangerous when we make ministry about a man or about a woman, because the preachers, you can acknowledge this when you're not there, the church goes down when you're not there, your finances go down. Well, fortunately for us, that does not describe us because once again, we went through that phase, but then we really, the Lord showed us how the people of God had to be taught and you need to make sure that they understand that it must be about the Holy Spirit working through a man or a woman and not about the human being. Can we get a witness out there? Very important. So prophetic preaching is very important. Important. And that's what you will experience at First Church. That, in other words, that God by his spirit convinces us of the danger of sin, self-righteousness and impending judgment. See, it's more than just getting a word. See, here's the thing. I can't just get a word and still be living in flesh. I can't just get a word and live in self. Because guess what? That word initially, if I'm in flesh, if I'm living in my flesh and I'm living selfishly, understand there's not a prophetic word that, that God has a plan for your life apart from God, first of all, telling you, listen, the wage of sin is death. Get out of your flesh. Get out of sin and get out of self. And then I can bless you. That's the way that that word would come. Listen to John 16 and verse number 18. John 16 and verse 8, rather. John 16, verse 8. And when he, the comforter, the spirit of truth is come, he will reprove or convince the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. And so once again, why first church? Because here's the reality. I need to be told that once again, if I'm in sin, I'm separated from God. I need to be told that my self-righteous pompous attitude is hindering me from experiencing the blessings of God. See, I need to be told that guess what? If I keep doing what I'm doing, that impending danger is in judgment is coming my way. I need to be told that. Do you understand? And then once told that and taught that, then now the prophetic vision that is spoken over my life can become a reality. In other words, what the Lord is saying to someone this morning is I told you there's a word on your life. But the thing is, you can't embrace it because there's sin active in your life. If you remember in Joshua, uh, the, when we, we saw how unfortunately for Joshua and the children of Israel, they tried to go into uh, AI and defeat the enemy. But guess what? They could not. You know why? Because sin was in the camp. And it is so very important that you and I understand this, because if we don't understand what the Bible says, then you and I will miss out on the truth of what God can do in our lives. Listen to this, because this becomes very important for you and I to understand. In Joshua chapter number seven, uh, as the Lord dealt with Joshua in verse 10, listen to this. And the Lord said unto Joshua, get thee up, wherefore liest thou upon thy face? Israel has sinned. And they have also transgressed my covenant, which I commanded them, for they have even taken of the accursed thing and have also stolen and dissembled also or deceived also. And they have put it even among their own stuff. Therefore, the children of Israel could not stand before their enemies, but turn their backs before their enemies because they were accursed. Neither will I be with you anymore, except you destroy the accursed thing from among you. Now, remember, the children of Israel had a prophetic word on their life. They had crossed over the Jordan. They were preparing to experience the very promises of God. But guess what? They could not. You know why? Because sin and self-righteousness was in the camp. And guess what? Judgment was upon them. That is why you must be a part of a ministry that experiences and expresses prophetic preaching. That is God by his spirit convincing us of the danger of sin and of self-righteousness and of impending judgment. Hello, somebody. Because once again, if you're in a ministry and you're, you're okay and they're okay with your sin, you're in the wrong place. You're in the wrong house. 
you're up under the wrong person. Because understand, the Holy Spirit never allows us to be comfortable in our sin. Can we get a witness out there, somebody? Glory be to God. And then fourthly, you may be saying, well, why, why should I want to be a part of a ministry like that? Well, because again, it's just the love that we experience on an ongoing basis. I know that God loves me because he has a prophetic word, prophetic vision for my life. I know that God loves me at First Church because the prophetic teaching is so outlined that once again, you can't miss it. And see, again, our ministry is to those of you that are listening this morning that are still at home. You need to get up. You need to participate in the ministries at First Church, 8.30 a.m., 6505 America Boulevard, Hyattsville, Maryland, at live.firstchurchwash.org. You can stream with us there, live.org. First Church Wash dot org or 1115 a.m. 1219 Hamlin Street in Northeast D.C. We're trying to give you reasons why you can overcome your doubt and your fears about church and about ministry. Listen, we're not just the church. We're not that average church. We're not that average Joe Blow church where you go in and everything is so uh, so brick and mortar. It's so programmed that you program the Holy Spirit out. That does not describe us, which leads us to the fourth reason why we love this ministry at First Church. It's because of prophetic worship. Glory be to God, somebody. Prophetic worship. That is worship by God's spirit that speaks life and breathes life and sets the captives free and breaks the enemy's strongholds. Our praise and worship, our worship, our prophetic worship is special to us. It is a type of worship that once again, by God's spirit, just speaks life. It breathes life into the atmosphere. And you can begin to see individuals as they begin to cry, as their hardened hearts are broken. And guess what? And that, that connection is reestablished with Jesus Christ right there in the midst of worship. You can just see in the midst of our worship how individuals are being set free, captives, individuals that at least press their way to church are now in in church and guess what's happening to them they're being set free glory to god captives are being set free. Do you understand? You cannot be in an environment where everything is so programmed, where worship is so programmed, and you can't be free. The purpose behind prophetic worship is so that once again, captives can be set free. And listen, you can experience the breaking of the enemy's strongholds in your life. Glory to God. That's what I love about this ministry. That's what makes it so different. And understand, we're outlining for you what the Lord outlined for us and the direction in which this ministry continues to move in. So once again, my sisters and my brothers, if that describes you, if you want to experience the prophetic side of God, and we already shared with you earlier that guess what? God is pouring out his spirit. And, and so therefore, you don't want to miss what God is saying and what God is doing. The prophetic side of God has been unleashed. It's been unlocked. And guess what? First church, we are enjoying it. Listen to Acts 16, 25 and 26. Acts 16, 25 and 26. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake. Listen, praise, worship in this case, sent up into the atmosphere, caused a natural earthly earthquake. Hello, a great earthquake. So that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were open and everyone's bands were loose. What are you saying? Listen, their worship, it spoke life. What are you saying? Though their worship, prophetic worship, set those captives free. What are you saying? Prophetic worship breaks the enemy stronghold. Can someone shout right there? Hallelujah. Can God, someone give God the glory right there? Can you go into prophetic worship right there like Paul inside? They were in prison, but guess what? They didn't let it stop the prophetic side of their worship. Chains will be broken as soon as you get involved in prophetic worship. And that's what we're sharing with you. You can come to First Church in, cha in chains, but guess what? You're going to leave there and those chains are broken. First Church cares. Do you understand? We care about you, my brother. We care about you, my sister. We care about your family and we care about your kids. That's why Rescue 911 is literally changing the lives of these kids because of all this social media, all this peer pressure, the bullying. You got to be in an environment 
where married couples are being ministered to, where single parents are being ministered to, where your son being ministered to, the, the your daughter being ministered to, where the women are being ministered to. That's the whole objective here. There is administration that is taking place at every level in the ministry. Why? Just for you. Because God has outlined, God has dictated that it be such. Make sure that you understand that about this ministry. This is serious business. And what we're sharing with you is the prophetic side means that we hear from God. We know what God is doing in this season and we can help. We are here to serve you. So please, whatever you do, make sure that you do not miss that. Because once again, I know that, that again, you've heard those key four key areas. And guess what? There are more areas of, pro, of the prophetic side of First Church. And again, remember, when we speak of the prophetic side, we're talking about a ministry that is connected to God. Here's what God says and then declares and decrees it into your life. You are blessed. But guess what? There are some, that, there are some steps now that we must share with you prophetically through teaching that leads you into your blessing. Yes, I'm blessed, but the steps of the righteous. And did you hear that? The steps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord and there is great delight. So what does that mean? That means I need to be taught now. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. I must be taught now. And it becomes very important for you and I to understand that. So once again, on this morning, we just want to challenge those of you that have an ear to hear to connect with First Church at firstchurchwash.org. You can download our app at First Church Wash. You can connect with us on Facebook, Facebook Live, on Periscope, Twitter, or Instagram at First Church Wash. You can connect with us at one of our two services, 8.30 a.m., 6505 America Boulevard, Hyattsville, Maryland, or 1219 Hamlin Street, uh, again, at 11.15 a.m. Make sure that you are at one of those services and experience the prophetic. You can connect with us every morning on the War Room Prayer Line, 712-432-3920. That's at 5 a.m. M onward. Do you understand what's being said? Everything you need, that access code 619821. Want to thank God for our staff. They just putting all this up on, on Periscope. Y'all know we love you. See, that's what we're sharing with you. Everybody in the ministry wants you to be a part of this ministry. Have you ever been to a ministry where everybody wants you there? <laughs> well, guess what? If you haven't, you meet one. Come to First Church. You will experience the love of Jesus Christ because we have something going on there. You know what it's called? Denying self daily taking up our cross and following Jesus, allowing the love of Jesus Christ to ooze through us. Amen. There is something known as prophetic love. It is God's love that is just making its way into your heart, into your life. You can come broken and be restored. Your marriage can be on the rocks and you can get the counsel that you need. Do you know how many marriages have been saved there in that ministry by the grace of God? all because of the prophetic side. So once again, Continental Breakfast is served at our PGC location. Hot Breakfast is served at DC. Don't forget, this is the fourth Sunday. On the first Sunday of every month, we host both services for communion at our 1219 Hamlin Street location. So if you can't make it today, make sure that you come out next Sunday to our Hamlin Street location and be a part of a thriving church, not just a surviving church. And again, we are so looking forward to you being there. No, we love you. No, we're praying with you. No, we are praying for you. God is a good God, isn't he? And he's worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the same. Don't forget to connect with Key Touch this morning on WOL at 10 o'clock a.m. 1450. That's my girl. That's another one of our daughters. See, we're pushing folk into their purpose and destiny. That's what the prophetic does. May you have a blessed and prosperous day. Don't forget firstchurchwise.org. Connect with us. Sow a seed into this ministry. Love up on us as we love up on you. It's a love affair, a godly love affair, and that's what we appreciate. May God bless you. May God keep you. See, check you out this morning at one of the two services. Don't forget about Bible study Tuesday night. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. It's Ashley Home Stores July 4th starts a set sales event with huge showroom reductions on the biggest selection of furniture styles. Buy it all now and Hey, baby. Hey, y'all. Hey. <laughs> did, did you hear me counting you down? 
I did not, but you know what? We were still on point. Hey, listen, got all these folk, everybody. Hey, y'all, listen, we up here in beautiful Montreal, uh, Canada, as you can tell, hanging out with my girl, Key Touch. Make sure you all get a chance. We're still on, on Scope Live. Hold on, Key Touch, to connect with her because, again, you don't want to miss it. See, this is what we're talking about. When we talk about the prophetic side, this young woman, we were blessed to take up under our wings. God put her up under uh, the wings of the Holy Spirit through us to push her into her purpose and destiny. And now greater things are getting ready to happen in her life. So whatever you do, this is what you want to do. You want to be a part of connected with folk that will push you into your purpose and your destiny. For those of you on the scope, got to get ready to go. Got to finish up with my baby girl. Key touch. Love you. God bless. Uh Uh-oh.